Clearwater Dolphins. I'm your host, Marvin. And I'm your co-host, Rebecca. Welcome to our CNN Holiday Special. What's up, Clearwater Dolphins, and welcome back to Staff Interview. And today, I'm here with Miss Macias. Guys. First question, why do you like to, why do you like, why did you get into teaching? Um, I got into teaching because when I was in third grade, I had an amazing teacher. Her name was Mrs. Sauer, and she was just an amazing teacher. She made everything fun, and I loved learning in her class, and I just thought to myself, wow, I really want to be a teacher just like her, and ever since then, I've always wanted to be a teacher to help kids and to make learning um, fun. Well, that's awesome because like I, I really want to be a teacher because yeah. you are one of the teachers that really inspired me. Oh, thanks, Daniel. Second question, what is some of your best advice to give a student? My best advice for students is to never give up. Um, even if you feel like you don't know something, remember that you just don't know it yet. And so you should always go into everything with the growth mindset and just be willing to try and work hard and just don't give up. Third question, what's your favorite book or movie? Uh, my favorite book of all time, uh, I have lots of favorite, favorite books, but um, one that always um, was special to me is Island of the Blue Dolphins because I read it when I was in elementary school and I absolutely loved the book because I had a lot of text-to-self connections with it. Um, I'm part Native American, and uh, my tribe is from Northern California, just like um, in the book, uh, the main character is Karana, and I thought her name kind of sounded like my first name as well. And so, I don't know, I just had a lot of connections to the character, and I loved learning about um, how she survived on the island, and um, I don't know, it just was always special to me. Well, that is really awesome because I am also part Native American. Really? I am from the Beetle Monsu Tiwa tribe. Oh, nice. It's from New Mexico. Okay, very cool. I'm from the Pomo tribe. Well, that's all for now, Clear Dolphins. Bye. Bye. Hello, Clear Dolphins. My name is Autumn, and I'm back with this week's weather. On Monday, it's going to be 68 degrees, mostly sunny. On Tuesday, it's going to be kind of cold, so you might want to wear a coat. It's going to be 57 degrees, a couple of possible showers. On Wednesday, it's going to be 58 degrees, clouds and sun. On Thursday, it's going to be 61 degrees, sun and some clouds. And on Friday, it's going to be 63 degrees, considerable cloudiness. Stay classy, Clearwater. Run. Hello, Clearwater Dolphins, and welcome back to Poll Question. Thank you to the 80 people who participated in the last week's poll question. In first place is the Lion King. In second place is the Lady and the Tramp. And in third place is Pinocchio. This week's question is, what is your New Year's resolution? Your options are... Number one, get straight A's. Number two, run faster. Number three, eat healthy. Number four, read more. Number five, enjoy your winter break. Number six, go to fun places. That's all for now. Hello, Clear Dolphins. We are back with this week's Word of the Week. This week's word is drum roll, please. Chapel. Can you guess which one means chapel? Does it mean to lock something? Does it mean to sing in choir? Does it mean any type of dog breed or does it mean to fall asleep? If you guess to sing in choir, then you are correct. So give yourself a pat on the back. Make sure to tune in next time on Word of the Week. Stay classy, Clearwater. Rebecca Martinez and I am back with trivia question. This week's trivia question is where was the fortune cookie actually invented? Is it A, China, B, Japan, C, United States, or D, United Kingdom? If
you thought C United States, you are correct. See you next week on Trivia Question. What's up guys and welcome back to Someone You Should Know About. I'm Daniel. And I'm John. This week, someone you should know about is George Walker Bush. Born on June 12, 1924 in Milton, Massachusetts, George Bush fought in World War II and was elected to the U.S. House of Representatives in 1966. He served as Ronald Reagan's vice president for two terms and then won the 1988 U.S. presidential race before losing his bid for a second term to Bill Clinton. That's it for this week. See you next week. Hey, Clearwater Dolphins. Today, animal of the week is a fox. Foxes that have a lot in common with cats. Foxes also are smallest and weigh under three pounds. That's all on Animal of the Week. Hello, Clear Dolphins. I'm your Joker Daniel. And I'm your Riddle Daniel. And welcome back to Joking Riddle of the Week. And let's get on with the joke. Riddle. What has, what has, what has to be broken before you use it? I don't know what. An egg. <laughs> That's it for this week's Clear Out Dolphins. Hello, Clearwater Dolphins. This is a new segment named Guess the Disney Character. Here are some hints. He comes from another planet. And he will never betray his best friend. He is blue and his best friend comes from Earth. Can you guess? Can you try and guess who he is? The correct answer is Stitch from Disney Lilo and Stitch. Stay tuned for next week. Stay, Stay classy, classy, Clearwater. Run. Hello once again, my name is Children, and welcome back to Meme Week. My name is Matthias, aka your Meme Boy, and let's get on with me. Today's meme is Smash Ultimate, and when you're watching this, game, get, the game has finally released. Oh yeah! Anyway, the, this meme I'm doing, and there's so much of it, so I just, just chose a certain one. World of Light. It is a story mode in Smash Ultimate and looks amazing. Top quality. And the meme is the character is getting wiped out, and trust me, there are so many of this, just this one meme. This one, one meme. Thanks for tuning in next week, and stay tuned next for another meme. Hello, Clear Dolphins. My name is Lee Shimro, and welcome to a new segment called Dance of the Week. Dance of the Week is pretty much, it dances from the real world, and some, sometimes Fortnite, sometimes. But... But there's a, there's a ton of... Okay, never mind about that. Anyways, this week, dance is best mates. That's all, that's all for now, Clearwater Dolphins. Hey, Clearwater, welcome, welcome back, back to Sneaker, Sneaker of the week. week. Today, we have the Nike PZ2 PlayStation by Paul George. The release date was February 10, 2018 in limited quantities. The shoe price was 110 Until next time, Clearwater. CNN, CNN, we bring you the news. this week is that bees sometimes sting other bees to protect their hive see you all on january 2019